Police are now looking through security footage from a neighborhood where a 13 year old boy was shot and killed by a stray bullet as he played video games in his bedroom. It happened just after 6 p.m. yesterday on North Raymond Avenue. KCAL 9's Lori Perez has the very latest in the investigation and calls for stop to the violence. The home where this happened is dark tonight. We're told the family is too devastated to return. Meanwhile, mourners have been coming and building this memorial, and police are asking the community to help them, not only with this shooting investigation, but with an alarming recent spike in gun violence. There's so much going on in our neighborhood, and um, you know, I think all parents that are around here, we just wish things would happen. Stop. The deadly shooting has shaken locals like Isabel Benuelos, who brought her two children to pay respects to 13 year old Iran Moreno Balvaneda. She says they didn't have to know him to mourn his loss. Meanwhile, those who did say he was the kind of kid who would ask neighbors if they needed any help. A son who worked with his dad in the yard. I mean, you would see me, Mr. Richard, because I didn't know he knew my name. Neighbor Richard Boyd was at his doorway when shots were fired at around 6 Saturday night. We just heard all of a sudden two massive shots. Police say one bullet entered through this window and hit the teen as he was inside playing video games. The freshman at Blair High School died at the hospital. Straight A student. Uh, he spends all his time inside his room with his family, and today he's not there. So we have to ask ourselves what we want to do about this as a community with the gun violence. This needs to stop. Police say they think the 13 year old caught a stray bullet not intended for him. Investigators say multiple rounds were fired, but it's unclear whether the shooter was on foot or in a car or why they were even on this street. What police and locals do know is this is the latest in a frightening trend with at least five reported shootings in the last few weeks. Now we have a, a dead baby. What, 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 what is it going to take? Late last month, mom Teandra Pitts was helping out with the Pasadena Giants youth football program at Robinson Park when shots rang out. She and other adults had the kids crawl across the field to get safely inside a building. Last night, the teams were back at the park and heard the shots that killed Bavaneda. It's one thing to hear the shots, but it's another thing to find out it's a child. I have a son. I didn't want to be the one to say, hey, you know, does a child have to get killed for you guys to really, really respond? Just a few weeks ago, she and others packed an emergency meeting hosted by police and city leaders to talk about the spike in gun violence. Tonight, with this heartbreak, she says the time for talk is over. They want to see action to end it now. In Pasadena, I'm Lori Perez, KCOM 9 News.